Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Sky's Limit podcast. My name is Sky, and today we're talking about changing the idea of a summer body to a summer mindset. I hope you've all had a beautiful week filled with lots of fun and enjoyment. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Maybe you've seen like all over social media the whole idea with a summer body or get summer shredded in 30 days. I definitely haven't. It's been all over my feet and it's actually just insane about how many people are using it as a marketing technique to make people feel bad about themselves pretty much. Um, I've seen so many programs that, like get summer shredded in 30 days and it's like you can't just change your body that much in 30 days. It's physically not possible um and it's basically just like it's insane but this summer let's come to the terms that our body it doesn't and has never needed to change our body has never been the problem our mindset has if you don't know what a summer body is or you're not on social media it's basically an idea that the media has created basically telling us your body is here to be put on show and summer's the perfect time to get your quote-unquote dream body but there's just so much wrong with that um it's just making us feel bad about our bodies for just exact, like just for simply living which is stupid and it's not fair on anyone so this summer and every summer I'm adopting the mindset of having a summer mindset a summer mindset to me is all about living in the moment appreciating where you are and what your body can do for you and how you feel in your body so it's like spending more time outside away from your phone with friends taking time just to enjoy the moment enjoying lots of yummy food such as ice cream having barbecues on the beach And none of that has to do with how your body looks, just about how we feel in our body. Like when you're at the beach, like not focusing on how you look, but focusing on how you feel. Like is the sun shining on you? Are you in the water? Like can you feel the sand and the stones? That type of thing. And I think when you have the mindset switch of how do I feel rather than how do I look, like you just become so present with yourself and so in tune and connected to yourself that I feel like everything kind of just connects and feels a lot easier um also I feel like you have so much more energy because I feel like as people we waste so much energy like if you're in that kind of toxic body image mindset we waste so much energy on how we think we look like so much energy on trying to look perfect quote unquote or change our body or worrying about how others are perceiving us when that energy could be spent on just simply enjoying um I know I definitely wasted my energy on that and literally generally I've noticed so much how much my energy has just increased by simply not caring anymore like not not caring but just knowing that it's, there's nothing to care about like I have a body and that's it you know what I mean um so this summer instead of falling in love with the idea of having a summer body let's fall in love with the idea of having a summer mindset also another big thing is when people say when I'm this I'll feel like this like when I look like this I'll feel like this or when I do this or when I get this I'll feel like this which is not true it's a very toxic mindset to have um it's like you're searching for the day that will never come you're waiting for something that will never come unfortunately um I'm relating this into how our body looks because obviously that's the topic of today's episode. Some people say, when my body looks like this, I'll finally be happy. Or, no, no, like, trust me, I just want my body to look like this, then I'll be fine. But I think the thing is, with that, you're constantly going to be searching for everything that isn't you. You're you're constantly going to be searching for something that you won't get. Um, Also, like, getting your dream body quote unquote it's also down to like genetics bone structure um so many things go into that lifestyle and also like a dream body like it's just created by the media and what's trending at the moment like it has nothing to do with what is the dream body like everyone's just got bodies you know what I mean like it's insane that that's a thing um rather than how you feel like I think it should be like a trend to like how you feel in the summer like have a hot girl summer you know what I mean um but when you're constantly searching for something and not appreciating where you are or not realizing what you have is enough and okay and your body is supporting you that's just you yeah as I said you're constantly going to searching for something that isn't there and isn't going to happen because you're going to be like trying to change your body right and then you might get to the place where you wanted to be a month ago but now you want to be somewhere else so not to say you can't change your body but don't go in with the mindset I want to change my body you know what I mean like 
if you accept this is who I am, this is how my body looks, I appreciate what my body does for me, I appreciate what my body does for me and I'm very happy with my body, whatever happens, like however my body changes or doesn't change, that's okay, that's a healthy mindset to have because you're appreciating where you are, you're saying, like, you accept yourself, you're happy with how you look, not necessarily happy, like it's a very long journey to get there but it's just like saying I'm not constantly looking for something else, like I am okay with where I am. Um, and yeah, the moment you actually accept, like you are who you are and that's okay and that's more than okay, all the pressure, all the hate for yourself will slowly start to fade, your brain will stop looking for what's wrong with yourself and start looking for what should be celebrated. Um, and it'll kind of, it's obviously like, I'm saying this is like, it's an easy thing to do, it will take a lot of time but like when you look in the mirror your brain probably automatically looks at what's like quote-unquote wrong or what you think is wrong with yourself but the more you kind of try and shut that part of your brain off and tell yourself oh actually I really like my hair today oh my eyes look really cute oh the sunglasses I'm really really the sunglasses I'm wearing really complements my outfit you'll start looking for what should be celebrated and like enjoyed and appreciated or if you just come back from a walk or whatever type of movement you do whatever that may be you'd be like my body just did that like counting like this morning I did a high rocks workout for the first time and I <laughs> I was like mesmerized by my body I was like how did I just do that like tell me five months ago that I just did like what was my workout I did I don't know it was like a mixture of running like this ski erg sled push rower uh that was it and then repeat that like three times I think it was if you told me like five months ago my body could do that let, like five months ago I couldn't really run <laughs> let alone do that I would I wouldn't I would tell you you're lying you know what I mean so I was just mesmerized by my body and all it could do for me um bearing in mind the only reason I could get to where I was today is because I appreciate my body I feel my body properly and move my body from a place of loving my body not from a place of hate um also I'm very in tune with my body and I listen to my body when it needs rest or it needs to move etc etc um yeah also another topic that I always like quote I guess it's a quote that I love is let your body be a product of the lifestyle you want to live if you want to be the girly who lifts six times a week or the girly who does yoga or the person who's an amazing cook or the person who runs every morning or the person who's just so in tune with themselves, let your body be a product of the lifestyle you want to live. I want to enjoy food and movement and hanging out with people and just living life, so I will let my body be a product of that. Whatever your lifestyle is, just let your body be a product of that. So think about like your quote-unquote droop, like literally if you have a journal right now, journal right now, or just think in your head, whatever. Um, if you just think right now, like what is my dream life? Like what does that look like? Does not how it like not how you look but how does what do you do how does that look so does that does your dream life mean like when you'll go with friends eat loads of yummy food or you want to like do loads of movement and exercise or does that mean I don't know um or I'm trying to think um like whatever that looks like for you like for okay for me my dream life or whatever how my life is right now like I'm gonna be able to wake up feel energized and I want to do some form of movement something intuitive come back have a yummy breakfast meet up with friends um maybe go on a walk with them or maybe like have a yummy lunch or listen to a podcast with them or watch a movie or just have fun like play a game um then I like I'll go to the yard and like ride like ride horses or just play with them or you know go for a run later go to a run club with people that is like kind of my dream life um so I'll let my body be a product of that however much movement I do I'm not doing it from a place of I want to change my body I'm doing it from a place of this is how I want to live my body can be a product of whatever happens you know what I mean or I want to enjoy this ice cream with my friend in the summer or winter I love ice cream in the winter as well um I want to enjoy this ice cream with my friend I'll let my body be a product of that and I think that's really nice because it kind of just gives you permission just to live your life and that was probably the biggest switch that kind of turned for me and I was like okay that's like I love that like let your body be a product of the lifestyle you want to live not let your lifestyle be a product of the body you want um yeah 
And like, if people talk about summer bodies, I want a lifestyle body. And also your summer body is the body you have in summer. Your winter body is the body you have in winter. Like, like, you know what I mean? So yeah, wanting to be someone else is a waste of the person you are slash becoming. Always aiming, always stri- like striving, is that the word? Always, I don't know, what's the word? Um, always trying to become someone else, always trying to look like someone else, always trying to be someone else or look a certain way is such a waste of the person you are. You are incredible and there's no one quite like you, no one looks quite like you, no one acts quite like you and that is what makes you so incredible and beautiful and special and incredible. That is, that is what makes you you and I think so many people get scared of the idea of being unique or different because I think it's kind of been frowned upon and it's become like this weird thing to be someone else or like be someone new that no one's ever seen before but if you think about it all your friends they're not really friends with you because like of how you look or how you um present yourself they're friends with you because of what you bring to the table because of how you act because of your energy because of your personality because they've never met someone like you and that's what makes then want to be friends with you um like you wouldn't want five people like you wouldn't want front like five friends at the exact same like that's not fun there's no fun in that so always bringing something new to the table is really special and something only you can do there's not gonna there's no one else on this planet who has the exact same interests or views or beliefs as you and that is so special and also the thing with like <laughs> this is slightly detouring but like I was at a coffee shop the other day I was sat in Joe in the Juice, half an hour, I kid you not, and I live in quite a small town, like, like, high street or whatever, and um, there's not that many people, I saw five people, like, you know these Adidas shoes, I think Harry Styles started the trend, um, and I saw five people wearing them, uh, not five people, sorry, I saw, like, literally in five minutes, five people wearing them, um, and through the whole half an hour, I sat there, literally, like, every single person had a pair, don't get me wrong, I think they look super cute, like, I would love a pair, But it's kind of the thing of like, are people buying them because they actually like them? Or are they buying them because they want to fit in? I think so many people are scared of being viewed different to people, but that's the point of being human. Like, it's kind of the thing of, do they want the shoes because they look good? Or will will that just help them fit in? And I don't, I used to always want to be grouped together with someone. I didn't want to ever be seen as different or unique or just something new um and now that's like that's what makes you you that's so special like if you're unique that's like incredible that's incredible the fact that you that you could someone could meet you and they've never seen anyone like you that's so exciting and special um not obviously to say you can't wear what everyone else is wearing but it's the thing of just checking with yourself like do you want to wear it because it looks cute or do you want to wear it because you want to fit in obviously there's nothing wrong with wanting to fit in that also kind of relates back to comfort zones which I touched on in the first episode but it's kind of just checking with yourself like you know if you feel you if you're trying something new so you go to a new class or you're gonna meet new people and you just want to kind of be liked whatever and your comfort zone you know you kind of like okay I just want to blend in that is so fair enough and I can like really sympathize with that fact like with that with that um but if people already know five of you, what's going to make you stand out? And I know it's a scary thing to stand out, but that's what makes you you, and that's so special, and I think it's an incredible thing when you can stand out, because the moment you kind of release all these barriers and peel off all these layers of yourself that you've created that just to make yourself fit in, you're going to find the people who want to be friends with you, you're going to find it your people. You're gonna find the people who like the things you like, who have the similar belief, who have similar beliefs as you. Or yeah. And I think so many people struggle to find their people because they're not actually truly themselves. Like they find these friends, but then they're like, mm, they're not quite for me, or uh, like, you know, they don't quite fit with me. And it's like, when you made friends with them, who were you? Were you being your authentic self or were you being who you thought people wanted you to be? if it was the second one, you're probably attracting the people who were looking for the second girl who isn't you, and that's okay, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's like, when you're trying to make friends, let yourself shine, like, let those authentic parts of yourself, like, be bright and bold and exciting and new and fun, because those are the parts of you that no one's seen before, and that's very exciting and special and something only you can do. 
Another thing is your body is not the most exciting part of you. It never has been. And people aren't friends with you because of how you look. They're friends with you because you're a good person and a fun friend and someone that makes them happy and joyful. On the other side, make sure you're spending time with people who bring you up and want to see you succeed. People who are happy, people who are happy for you and you are happy. That in itself will make a huge impact. Um, going back to the whole like toxic body image mindset, um, which kind of like the result of having bad body image and a toxic mindset with body image will kind of cause you to always wanting to change your body with that that's this is how you kind of resolve it so if you're constantly surrounding yourself with people who like benefit off your flaws or don't necessarily want to always see you happy or just if you do a big like, if you have a big achievement and the first thing they say is like oh well I did this or okay that's yeah oh, okay and then just change it to them they're probably not people who you want to be around they're probably people who envy you who are jealous of you or who just can't accept other people's successes which is their own blocks but when you spend time with people who actually care about you and who really want to see you succeed and be happy or just people who are excited for where you are going you will just be fed this happiness and sometimes like obviously we can't always like you know I always say try and be there for yourself but that's also really hard like always be your own bestie but that is hard like there's going to be moments when you can't but if you kind of have those friends that will lift you up and bring you up when you sometimes can't you're going to feel 10 times better than if you have those friends who try and bring you down um also people outgrow people um and it's not a bad thing and you're allowed to leave people and move on from people that doesn't make you a bad person that just shows you're growing and that's very special and important and something you should embrace and be excited for because you're meeting someone new try and remove those toxic people from your life it's also very hard to spot those toxic people because I think they're very they I feel like those type of people are quite manipulative so you never quite know also our brains automatically go to like oh all the good memories or all this all that just try and be real and think about like how much pain have they actually caused you I've probably had my fair share of people like this so yeah you're yeah don't let anyone else bring you down because you're incredible and don't take criticism from someone you'd never take advice from um another thing is stop judging others if they're not, if what they're doing is not hurting you, then it's got nothing to do with you, if you're constantly judging other people, that kind of makes it normal, and it gives, like, it gives you permission to judge yourself, because that's the norm, um, no no one, including yourself, deserves to be judged for just being themselves, when you stop judging yourself, and all these rules about how you should be will fade, when you stop judging others, you're going to stop noticing all the quote-unquote flaws in people, and I think so many people do it, like, it's an unconscious thing, like, when I say judging, like, obviously, I don't mean, like, up to, well, I really hope you don't go up to people and be, like, that's weird about you, but, like, I mean, in your head, judging people, like, you could, like, it, someone could walk past you and be, like, oh, that was weird, or, like, oh, why are they wearing that, or, oh, that was, like, peculiar, but it's just, like, what's the need, if it, if what they're doing isn't hurting you, there's no point on doing it, and also, everything you say about other people is just a reflection about how you feel about yourself, um, so I think, judging yourself and judging other people go very hand in hand because when you judge yourself and find flaws in yourself you're going to find quote unquote there's no people don't have flaws you know I mean I don't believe that but like for this context um you're going to find quote unquote flaws in other people and you're going to judge them but also if you find flaws in other people you're going to find flaws in yourself so they kind of go hand in hand and I feel like it's you you kind of have to do both at the same time and kind of stop doing them together I think also if you can't stop saying something like if you can't stop judging people you've stopped judging yourself which I know a lot of people find hard try and replacing try replacing that with something positive about them like literally if you say oh they look weird be like oh they look so cool or they look really unique or they look really awesome like literally just flipping it even if you don't believe it like you eventually will like also our brain kind of feeds off negativity like it kind of sparks like adrenaline and stuff 
But when you constantly say something positive, it's not as exciting. So your brain's probably just going to stop and forget about that. Um, but also, if you do see someone cool, you can compliment them in real life. Like, I, like honestly, I have, <laughs> whenever I go up to like, London or stuff, and I'm just like kind of plodding around, like exploring, I, <laughs> I've got, like, you know, the notes app on your phone. I've got, like, on my phone, all the people I've complimented, like, that month. And I love, like, I love that for myself, because every month I try and compliment more people. Um, and I try and see how many people I can compliment in a day or a week or a month or whatever. Um, and that's just a fun game. Like, obviously, like, I'll just be like, uh, like, I saw someone with, like, a band t-shirt that I love. Like, a, the band I love, like, the t-shirt she had was one of my favourite bands. So I said, oh, I love that band. Like, I love your t-shirt. Um, I don't know. And I think that's just something also really fun to do. If you find, and then also if you find it hard to stop judging yourself, my mirror like just literally put a t-shirt over your mirror like just stop looking at yourself in the mirror and I know that's so hard because like mirrors literally everywhere like your reflection is kind of everywhere like, if you walk past a car your reflection's there also if you're so used to judging yourself you're gonna you're gonna know where those mirrors are especially like um if you like if you've lived in the same place your whole life you're gonna know what all those reflections are um but your mindset can change if you want it to but you also you also have to want it to you can't just be like oh yeah like you know it'll change you have to want it to you have to take action you like you have to take action to stop doing this but when you stop judging others it's going to become weirder to judge yourself and you won't automatically judge yourself also when you stop judging yourself it's going to be weird to judge others because you'll be like oh that's not my characteristic and yet, like, making a comment about someone else or yourself will be so out character for you. If you talk to your friends the way you talk about your body, you wouldn't have any friends left. Like, if you if you look at yourself in the mirror and you get, oh, I look like this, or I don't like that, or this needs to change, or da-da-da-da-da, imagine your friend was on the other side of that mirror. What would they think? <laughs> I wouldn't be very happy. They'd probably be crying. Whatever that thing is, something that you truly love and adore, imagine they're behind that mirror, any reflection for that matter, and you're telling them that, that's awful. <laughs> like, um, imagine like your mum's behind that and you're telling your mum, I feel like this, or no, like you look like this, or you look like that, or you need to change that about you. You would never tell them that. Like treat yourself like someone you love because you spend your whole life with yourself and you deserve to be someone you love. Um, another thing, I think people trying to get in, people always try and get into other people's heads. Like when you're walking down the street and you see like a group of people, just someone, you automatically get into their head and you're like, what are they thinking of? What are they thinking about me? Do they think I look weird? Do they think I look like this? Do they think I look like whatever? Do they think I look lonely? Do they think I'm being like, um, I don't know, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And I think that's a hard, like, I sometimes do that. But also, I hate to break it to you, that's judging someone else and judging yourself all in one. Assuming that someone dislikes you or thinking bad about you, you're assuming they're a bad person. And you coming up with all these, like, I'm scared they perceive me as this, or they're being rude to me, or, like, they think this is a bad thing about me. That's you being rude about yourself. So that's also another thing that we need to stop doing. But I think it's hard because I think as I said, a summer mindset is all about living in the present and not caring about how you're perceived, but caring about how you feel. So if we flip this around and think, how do I feel right now? If that person's walking past you, like, how do I feel right now though? Do I feel happy? Am I listening to good music? Or am I listening to my friend talk about something that I'm really interested in? Or am I eating? Or am I, do I have a really like yummy drink in my hand? Or am I really looking forward to wherever I'm going? Or have I just had a beautiful day? Like, just try and get out of your head and back into your body. Like, just try and disassociate with that part of your brain. Um, And I think just coming back to yourself whenever you try and jump into other people's heads, just come back to yourself and think, how do I feel about myself right now? If you are feeling a bit insecure or you do feel a bit, like, anxious or whatever, just think, okay, but how do I truly feel? Like, how does my body feel? Do my legs feel okay? Do my arms feel okay? How do I, like like also there's like you know if it is anxiety like what's three things you can see hear feel whatever like I do that all the time um and it it just brings you back down to reality and like okay 
why am I getting into other people's heads because you never truly know what other people are thinking about you unless you ask them also people can like like you never truly know what someone's thinking about you so just accepting that's something that you can't control you don't know how people are perceiving you um and that's something that's out of your control but what you can control is how you feel about yourself and how you choose to perceive others so yeah just kind of bring yourself back down getting out of other people's heads is very beneficial your body is ne- your body has never been a work in progress or something that needs to be altered um i think so many people see themselves as a work in progress or like oh god it's all i've seen so many i was on pinterest the other day looking like cuz i have like a whole pin of like positive quotes because i'm very quotey slash affirmation galley um and i saw like my summer body, like, so many quotes saying, my summer body's a work in progress, or this body's a work in progress, I'm like, how's that quote, that's awful, like, your body's not a work in progress, your body's just here to help you, and experience life, like, your body's here to help you experience life, like, if you think about it that way, like, you wouldn't be judging your body, your body's here just for you to experience life in, and your body does not need to be hidden, or changed, or altered, or to be hated, um also 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 as i said if you're around people who are judging themselves oh my god this is another thing stop being around people that judge themselves also if people are judging themselves sometimes they're looking for like a compliment like they need a boost you need to stop doing that they need to stop doing that because if you're constantly looking from other people's validation you're never going to be happy with yourself that's you, you need to be the one to give yourself validation it's kind of like so you do um, you have a massive achievement you've done something incredible you are proud of yourself but you haven't given yourself that validation you automatically go to someone who you want validation from so that could be a parent a friend or whatever um you go to them you're like guess what I just did this and they didn't they don't give you the response you wanted you're going to be like oh maybe that wasn't good or maybe or maybe that wasn't that impressive or maybe whatever but if you do this incredible thing and you come back to yourself and you're like, wow, I just did that. Like, that is amazing. And then you go to the person and you say, I just did this incredible thing. And again, they maybe don't give you the reaction you want, or maybe they do. You're still going to be happy and amazed with yourself because you've given yourself that recognition and appreciation that you are incredible. Um, I used to always look for other people's validation until I realized that actually is never going to make you happy. You're never going to be satisfied with something. You're not always going to be satisfied with other people and you can't be relying on other people. Someone else might be having a bad day or they may be having a great day, but that's not up to you and you can't control how other people feel. You can control how you feel though. So I think all, like, all mindset stuff is just about having trust in yourself and having that connection and intuitiveness with yourself to look after yourself I think that's such such, like an overlooked thing like just looking after yourself and taking care of yourself and appreciating yourself and loving yourself um something that's so overlooked um and something that's not really yeah um if you are struggling with body image um this summer I just want to let you know it's not about your body it is all about your mindset the more love and compassion and acceptance you can give yourself the more comfortable you will eventually feel in your body. If you are surrounding yourself with people who are judging themselves or constantly noticing the flaws in other people or themselves or you, you're not ever going to feel better about yourself because you're constantly getting reminded about all these things that simply don't matter and have nothing to do with anything. They're just a reflection on how insecure the other people are about themselves. So there's also a thing of like, it's not a bad thing to leave people who don't serve you anymore. Also, it may just be your own brain, and that's okay as well, but feel free to dump your old self and gain your new self and grow into this new person who looks after you and who loves you and can appreciate you. There's so many ways to do this. Journaling's a great way. Just literally, what's it on my mirror? Because I think America can be a very toxic place. Like last year, I wrote in my mirror, you're so much more than just a reflection, which is so true, you are. Um, And it's mad that we base our worth on a reflection. Like you're so much more than just a reflection and maybe just putting all these quotes around your mirror can remind you when you look in the mirror because I'm guessing that's the toxic place for you um you just remind yourself oh okay like if you automatically go to that toxic thought if you just accidentally like look to the side of your mirror or on purpose look to the side of your mirror you'll see like 
I've also I've got a couple others like I've got admire someone's beauty that questioning your own I have to keep showing up for myself and then you're so much more than just a reflection and life is too short not to love the shit out of yourself um yeah also admiring admire someone's beauty without questioning your own I think that's so important um it's kind of the no better no worse mindset which I talked about in the first episode a bit more into depth um I think this kind of applies to anything like body image careers friendships whatever no one's better than you and no one is better than you and you're no worse than anyone um you're no better than anyone either like you know what I mean like everyone's just doing their own thing and no one is doing the exact same thing so we're all unique and incredible in our own ways so we all bring we all bring something to the table we're all slightly different that does not that however that does not mean one of us is better and one of us is worse we're all experiencing life differently and we're all just trying to do our best and have fun and enjoy the passage of time so having the no better no less mindset also if you do go oh I wish I looked like her be like she's beautiful and I'm beautiful too or I'm beautiful and she's beautiful so if you're like if you envy someone and you want to look like them be like well she's beautiful yes I can see that but also I am beautiful and then if you see someone who you maybe judge be like they are so beautiful and I am so beautiful that does not mean one of us is better or worse um and I think just yeah really appreciating everything that you do for yourself really appreciating everything your body does for you and if you find that hard practicing it in small bits maybe the easiest thing for you to do is like journal just journal for like one minute saying like I love myself I choose myself I accept myself um also listening to positive affirmations on Spotify like I literally did that for ages like I'd google um like positive self-love affirmations on Spotify it's like 10 minutes long and I'd listen to it like when I went around the block on a walk and it does ram it into your head like it's also thing as like if you keep on constantly telling yourself I can't and instead of telling yourself you can you probably won't because your brain listens to what you say kind of thing like your brain listens to your dialogue so yeah choosing yourself accepting yourself and being kind to yourself is so crucial and life-changing I hope this summer is filled with so many memories and presentness within our bodies and just enjoyment and just living in the present away from our brains getting back into our body and just thinking how incredible am I that I'm here like when you're swimming in the ocean how incredible is my body that I can do this um also making sure we're feeling ourselves properly this summer so we have enough energy to do the things we love also it doesn't matter what we're eating as long as we are giving ourselves enough food for that day or hour well done I'm proud of you I hope you'll have a fabulous week um oh yeah all the podcasts will be posted on a Friday afternoon slash evening I will confirm the time on my Instagram which is sky w fitness um so yeah it can be like a little weekend watch or a Monday start so yeah I hope you enjoyed this episode um I know it's not quite summer yet it was actually really sunny in the UK this week but now it's suddenly um raining and really cloudy so you are so worthy and you are more than enough and you're beautiful and allow yourself to realize that and accept that and allow yourself to be your own bestie I hope you have a beautiful week you deserve it so much love sky